I've never really done a song on here that's really important to me. And that's because I kind of get afraid about not doing those songs that are so important to me justice. This is going to be the first time I'm going to do one of those songs. The first thing you need to know about this song is that it's tuned to half a step down. So what that tuning is, is that's going to be D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp on the bottom. So half step down. The next thing you need to know is the chords that are going to be used in this song. First, you're going to have a G. Next, you're going to have a D over F sharp, which if you don't know what that is, it's just a D hitting that F sharp on second fret of the low E. Alright, you're going to have an E minor. And then last, you're going to have a C. So through the majority of this song, you're actually going to be playing those chords that I just listed in that order. It's going to be G, D over F sharp, E minor, and C. And then it actually is going to end on a D, or a D over F sharp. You can kind of interchange that D and that D over F sharp. I think it adds a little bit if you add the F sharp in there. Um, but if you're not quite there with your playing yet, you don't have to add that. Alright, so like I said, G, D over F sharp, E minor, C, and then back to D. So as far as a strum pattern goes on this, you're going to have several different strum patterns throughout the song. For example, a good part of the song, a good portion of the song, is actually going to be just a single down strum for each chord. An example of this is the intro, um, as well as the first verse, and the first chorus, if I remember right. So what that's going to look like with that single down strum is going to be... And then back to G. So another strum pattern you're going to have throughout this song is going to be a down, down, up, down, up, with a focus on that very first down strum. Now as always, these are just my interpretations of what I'm hearing in the song, but I encourage you to listen to the song for yourself once you get the chords down and develop your own strum pattern that you think sounds best. Um, not everybody's going to have the same ear as me, and usually the, these strum patterns that I give you guys are just a, a general something to work with. But definitely build your own strum pattern for this song and kind of learn to do that by ear and develop it. So anyways, this down, down, up, down, up is going to be the same chords we're using right there, and that G, D, E minor, C, D. And what that's going to sound like is something along the lines of this. And back to G. Now I know you'll notice that I threw a, more, a few more strums in there and like I said, you just got to kind of figure out what works best for you and what you think sounds right. Um, but the basis I was using with, uh, for that strum pattern, the kind of templates, if you will, is a down, down, up, down, up. All right, and so the last strum pattern you're going to need for this is one that's used kind of throughout the song. There's a lot of build-ups in this song, and when you're using a build-up standardly, you just kind of, I don't even know if standardly is a word now that I think about it. So typically, what you're going to do when you're doing a build-up is just, you're just going to have a, just a simple down strum, just a simple quick down strum. So I'm gonna run through that. There's a couple places that do that, um, including the uh, the bridge, and there's a little instrumental part after the bridge, and then there is part um, of this little outro, which we're gonna go over the chords for this little outro part in just a second. So what this is gonna look like though is just gonna be like a G. 
So like I said, that's just a down strum buildup that's used throughout the whole song um, in various places. I think it's, um, depending on the way you want to play it, uh, you can play that on um, the verses as well. Uh, I think that's a little bit more authentic to the way they play it, um, on acoustic at least. Um, I think it's a little bit more authentic to use that down strum technique um, to, uh, to, play the, to play the chorus, or to play the verses like that. All right, so next thing you need to know is the bridge chords. So the bridge is the same chords, different order. And what that's going to be is that's going to be a E minor, and then a D, and then a C, and then back to a D. And you're going to run through that twice on the bridge. And that pretty much, to me, it sounds like um, it's just a single down strum through the whole thing, but you might have a little bit of build up at the end of that. So what it'll sound like all the way through is something like this. You can kind of feel that out and feel where that feel out where that build up starts. I know that there's one at the end of the bridge. I can't remember exactly where it starts at, um, but for the most part, you can probably just use a down strum for each one of those chords and then just kind of build it up once you once you feel the build up coming. All right. The last thing you need to know for this song is at the very end of the song, um, at the very last chorus. He kind of does this outro build up and where he's going, all of my friends say, and all of my friends say. So, so when he's doing that outro build up, they alternate back and forth between C and D. So it's your standard chorus, but you're going to alternate back and forth on those last C and D chords as he's building it up. And all that is, is just going to be the same thing. It's just going to be a, a down strum build up and it's just going to sound like this. And then back to the, uh, the, the verse and chorus chords. And then it's just a single down strum on the way out. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Like I said, I'm not used to doing songs that I'm so passionate about. This song has a real special meaning to me for a couple different reasons. And I may talk about that later on. I may do a video on that. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I really wanted to make this one detailed. Um, so I'm sorry, it's a little bit longer than my usual lesson. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If it helped you out, uh, please hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, I'm usually pretty quick at getting back to them. Um, so go ahead and let me know in the comments below and I'll try to see if I can help you out any way I can. Thanks so much for watching guys.